Why did the state of Indiana try to legally change the value of pi to 3.2 in 1897? It sounds insane, but the House of Representatives actually passed the bill unanimously. It started with a country doctor named Edward J. Goodwin. He wasn't a mathematician, he was a crank who spent his free time obsessing over an ancient impossible riddle called squaring the circle. This is the task of constructing a square with the exact same area as a circle using only a ruler and a compass. It had been proven mathematically impossible 15 years earlier, but Goodwin ignored the proof. He claimed he had solved it, but there was a catch. To make his solution work, the numbers didn't fit. Obviously, the universe requires pi to be 3.14159 and so on forever to make a circle close. Goodwin decided that the universe was wrong. In his handwritten bill, he set out a new formula. Depending on which paragraph of the bill you read, his math implied pi was 3.2, 3.23, or even 4. But the main headline was pi is now 3.12. So how did he trick the government? Well, he copyrighted his discovery. He went to the Indiana General Assembly and offered them a deal. If you pass Bill 246 and acknowledge my mathematical truth as law, the state of Indiana can use my discovery in its textbooks for free. Everyone else in the world will have to pay me royalties. The politicians saw dollar signs. They didn't check the math. They checked the profit margin. The House of Representatives voted 67 to 0. They unanimously declared that 3.14159 and so on forever was a lie. The bill moved to the Senate. It was days away from becoming state law. Indiana was about to mandate that all schools teach a square circle. Enter C.A. Waldo. He was a real math professor from Purdue University, who just happened to be in the state house that day to ask for library funding. A senator, excited about the new law, pulled him aside and asked, Oh, would you like to meet the genius who discovered this new truth? Waldo looked at the bill, saw the impossible equations, and famously replied, No thanks, I've already met as many crazy people as I care to. Waldo went on a rampage. He cornered the senators and explained that passing this bill would make Indiana the laughingstock of the entire planet. He told them, you can't legislate geometry. The Chicago newspapers got wind of it and started roasting the government. The Senate panicked. When the bill finally came for final vote, they didn't even reject it. They just indefinitely postponed it. Technically, the law is still sitting in the archives, waiting for a vote. But for now, Pi is safe at 3.14159 and so on 